Ooh. It's been a hot minute since we felt like this. Welcome into the PHNX Bets Daily Podcast presented to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook app, America's top rated sportsbook. Johnny Venerable, appropriately Espo today of PHNX Suns fame. Um, and um, there's fame and there's glory, and then there's uncertainty with Kevin Durant following an unprecedented what shooting pre warm up drill in which the superstar tweaked his ankle. First of all, this is the first time I've had you on air. Uh, we've had you on air since the incident yesterday after your post game show. How are you feeling about everything right now? I'm feeling all right. Guys turn their ankles all the time in this league. I'm not overly concerned. There were some premature reports or a premature report out there last night. Uh, yeah. I looked into it and it's just that it's premature. There's absolutely no answers uh maybe even some optimism so i'm not overly i'm not gonna panic you know i talking head morning shows across uh the national landscape are gonna uh, you know bury the suns now because of uh, of this and and so be it. it this team will uh will figure it out one way or another but we should have kevin durant news hopefully this afternoon if not tomorrow early uh and understand what the prognosis is and when we can expect him back on the court yeah, I mean, you look at Golden State last year. They put it together late into the regular season and the postseason. There's no reason why the Phoenix Suns can't do the same thing. Let's get to our bets from yesterday quickly, if we could. Espo, <laughs> we'll start with you. How'd you fare? Well, I got the ASU one right on. So uh, <laughs> take that one to the bank, if you will. Uh, one of my son's parlays involved Kevin Durant. So that was a big, hey, you get your money back, which isn't bad uh, yes. in and of itself. Uh, and, so, and then my other one, I missed by one Chris Paul assist. This should have been a plus 475 that you got. Uh, and Chris Paul, since he got pulled uh, early in that fourth quarter, along with the rest of the starters, he did not hit that number, so I fell one assist short. Hmm. Uh, I had a decent night with my picks, but I mean, my prop, my props were all centered around Kevin Durant. So we don't even need to look at those. Uh, ASU money line. Listen, almost my seven hundred, but I did have to sweat it out. They didn't cover the line, which was, uh, I think, what ten uh, by the time tip off happened. Um, so Espo, you got the right side of that. Suns minus 13, Suns Thunder over under in that game. And listen, at the end of the day, we were still coming out with the plus money. I believe that, of course, both of those, uh, the over under missed by half a point. So that was about what I, you know, how my evening went after the Kevin Durant issue. But they did cover, which was nice. Um, before we talk about tonight, let's talk about the the Sun Devils and uh, the U of A Wildcats prime for the quarterfinals of the Pac-12 tournament. Do you think, Mr. Espo, following their performance yesterday, they woke up in the second half, as you mentioned, Sun Devils are playing with house money, or do they need to win to get in today against USC? Well, I... I still think they, in all likelihood, need to win to to get in. So there'll be some pressure here. But, yeah, I, you know, after a scare last night, hopefully that's what wakes them up, right? They, they yeah. know that there's something on the line. They know that they can't play the way they did against Oregon State and that they have to uh, come out hard against U USC tonight. Uh, will they do it? I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of confidence after, uh, uh, after last night that they'll get off to a hot start. But – I think Bobby Hurley and his crew realize the tournament's on the line and they'll punch a ticket dancing tonight by getting a win. Yeah, this is a winnable game. They barely lost to USC in their final regular season game. Uh, and I think that, again, you know, when you when you put it into context, if you win this game, you get into the NCAA tournament and you guys are so evenly matched. I like the Sun Devils odds tonight. Of course, we both like U of A uh, to steamroll against Stanford. Before we get to our picks, I want to remind everybody – Bet on all of this and more at the DraftKings Sportsbook app. We're going to talk about Phoenix Sun Championship odds here in a second, but you should dabble on DraftKings because right now, if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code PHNX, new customers can bet a mere five spot, get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Only on the DraftKings Sportsbook app with promo code PHNX, minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Again, best time to be on DraftKings, in my opinion, March Madness right around the corner. Of course, all the conference tournaments that come beforehand. We've got the NBA postseason right around the corner. Baseball first pitch is less than a month away for the regular season. And then I love NFL draft, NFL 
free agency props, all that and more available right now on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Mr. Espo, what do you like tonight? Well, I like sports. No, I like uh, I have ASU uh, money line. I have U of A minus 10, uh, and I have the Nets money line at plus 160. All these, I think, are very winnable. I didn't yeah. take any big swings tonight. I just looked at it and went, eh, let's get some money back in that pocket after uh, a few misses last night. So I think these are, are three winners for you. I like it. Uh, I am also on the two Arizona schools to take home uh, pivotal tournament wins. Um, biggest win in ASU in what? A couple of years if they win tonight. Again, subsequently punching their tournament to, uh, ticket to the tournament and getting to the semifinals. I actually like them to win fairly comfortably against USC. They were in control of that game that they lost earlier this year. And then, of course, um, you know, Coming out last night in the second half playing inspired basketball gives me hope. I can get plus money on these alternative spread, alternative spread, minus three and a half. And then U of A, again, uh, I'm going to be bold here and say they win by at least six and a half, seven points. But you can tease it up on DraftKings to double digits if you want to get into the plus money. Uh, I've watched this U of A team a good amount this year. Uh, and Stanford, I do not think, is going to have the horses to hang with them. Uh, throughout the uh, the course of two two lengthy halves tonight, so and I also think you know it could be could be out of gas here. Uh, prop wise, Mister Espo, what do you like? Uh, I didn't have any props today. I just I like I said I I just I went I went simple today, Johnny. He's got a future though. As in as in I That's forgot. I was I for. give me your, so, give okay, me your I'll give you a future. I got one. Take that Suns NBA title plus 380. They have the second best odds. I don't care. Take it. Invest in it. You're getting plus money. Uh, I would run with that and run with it quick. Yeah. Listen, they, they should still be the favorite to get out of the West. I think we saw last night with a loss to the Chicago Bulls, our frauds here out West in, I believe, that was the Denver Nuggets. A little bit fraudulent. In, in Denver. They remind me a lot of last year's Suns. That's all I'm saying. And again, they don't have the pedigree or the experience that the Suns have getting to the NBA Finals two years ago. Uh, I think, um, again, could be a one and done for our yeah. friends uh, in the in the Rockies. Yeah, they take they talk about the steps up there in uh, in Denver. You know, not not skipping them or anything. Uh, I think they kind of fell down them last night and maybe primed yes. to do that in the playoffs. So hard to emphasize how bad the Chicago Bulls are. Uh, you know who's not bad? Uh, New York Knicks looking good out uh, east. And uh, while I, I I think they will beat the Sacramento Kings tonight, give me the Knicks, double-dose NBA college basketball, plus 115. Also like the Bucks big tonight, as I uh, also like the Warriors tonight uh, against the Grizzlies. The Warriors, um, listen, Warriors are one of the worst road teams in the NBA. They've got a top, or excuse me, a bottom three road record uh, in the NBA. So they got to start winning games on the road. I think they take care of business against what I think is a little bit of a fraudulent grizzly team. I think they, they hit from the perimeter and they get a dub. And then uh, I am not as aggressive as Mr. Espo taking the nets money line. I like the bucks tonight adding to their uh, historic pace, winning their 48th game of the regular season. As for my props, let's talk about those Knicks led by who else? Mr. Julius Randall double dipping here for some plus money over 28 and a half points. Over eight and a half rebounds against the Sacramento Kings. Again, Kings are hot. They're playing good ball. But I think the Knicks are legitimately the third best team in the Eastern Conference behind only the Celtics and the Bucks. Thibodeau is fantastic. Uh, and Julius Randle's playing the best basketball of his career. So uh, as Espo said off air, got to carry on the torch with old Julius Randle when Mr. <laughs> Shane Diefenbach isn't there. And I think that's good karma. We're betting on Julius Randle, Espo, today. And then also helping Shane and the Sun Devils tonight in a Look, weird way. Whatever we can do to make Shane's time in Vegas more happy. I mean, yeah, it's got to be so difficult to go to Vegas on the company dime, watch basketball, uh, and then have some fun. So, what do you think they're doing during the day today? You think they're in recovery mode? Do you think they went out last oh. night? Oh, they are one hundred percent in recovery mode. I think they're sleeping right now. They'll probably hit okay. an oxygen bar at some point, uh, you know, before dinner. Get a good meal in, and then head over to T-Mobile for another late game, and then another round of god how do we wind up on fremont street at 5 a.m do you have some sun's therapy going on this afternoon with the yes. kevin durant news imminent 
3 p.m. Come join us. I don't know if it'll be a celebration, a uh, a funeral, a group therapy. I don't know. You never know. I I have no clue what it's going to be. That's half the fun of it. Come show up and we'll find out. Maybe it'll be an Irish wake. Maybe we'll all just get drunk. I don't know. That sounds great to me. So you can parlay your 3 p.m. Suns tea time into a 4 p.m. kickoff. With PHNX Cardinals live, myself, Bo Brock. Bo had a chance to speak with Jonathan Gannon today to get his opinion on when Jalen Carter. We're also going to talk about a report that Byron Murphy is what? Getting $16 million per year. And we're going to give you the latest on the DeAndre Hopkins trade saga. All that and more 4 p.m. PHNX Cardinals live. Espo, it's been a pleasure. Should we put a bow on it tomorrow? You want to come back for the finale? Sure. The why the why the hell not? I'll come back uh, tomorrow and give you uh, some more bets that I probably shouldn't be giving you. So, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Uh, and, and also, can you get me Thielen if he's cut? Can you guys get me Thielen in, in red? No. no. All right. That's then. a horrible idea. Hey, Jacob, looking- nobody <laughs> asked you. Turn off your mic. Young- We're looking for young players. Uh but as well, you're on par with about 50% of our audience that says, go do this, go do this. Here's what the Cardinals are going to do. Free up money and get draft picks. Um, and unlike some other sports, you can rebuild your team in about 12 to 18 months. That's fine with me as long as they have new uniforms. And God, they're, they got to get a new facility first. But in the meantime, I'm not looking for a new co-host. It's Mr. Espo. I'm Johnny Venerable. Like and subscribe. Leave us a five-star wherever you get your podcast. We're back manana. Peace. Thank you.